All right, so um, today I'm going to just give you a brief introduction about uh, GitLab CI and how you can build apps with GitLab CI and why you should do it. And you really should not do it, not not do it, because it's just so simple. All right, so quick introduction to me. This is me. I work for Trefin, and Biatsub is our, my own project where we use Flutter. All right. So what's the usual release process? There's a, a PO or a PM, and he says, let's build a release. And the next question usually is, so people think about it, should we run any tests now on my laptop? <coughs> uh, they run on the CI, it's probably fine. I'll just pull the code, I'll tag it, and that's fine. Not just not gonna run the tests, it's fine. So who can actually build the app? Is there anyone who couldn't build the app? And this is why it gets a bit hairy, usually, sometimes because you get something like this a bit. But I don't have the key store, I don't have the key store password, only the admin has access. Whereas the admin, no one knows. Um, I don't know how it works. There's no, there's no readme, um, missing certificates, you know, all these things. Like, I'm new here, I don't, I, don't, I don't even know what I'm doing. So this is where it gets a bit hairy, and it's just really unnecessary. But luckily, at some stage we find someone, like here it's Dave. Uh, so Dave saves the day, we can finally build an app. And we just have to upload it to the Play Store, right? Well, who actually has to log in to the Play Store or access to the what's it called, like App Store, App Connect? So, you know, it's it's that's really too complicated. And this is really how it should be. You should just say release. You tag your commit. You push it, and this tag commit gets tested. It gets built, and this exact artifact from this exact tag gets automatically or manually uploaded to the Play Store or App Store. So just, just really simple stuff. And with GitLab CI, we can exactly achieve that. So just a quick introduction about GitLab for the people who don't know GitLab. Um, so gitlab.com, this is where it is. Uh, it's a bit like an all-in-one tool. So it has Git, but it also has a Docker registry. It has some, some ops uh, monitoring and some things. Um, but when you sign up, you get a thousand free build minutes, so you can really just go ahead and try. No credit card, no, <coughs> no PayPal, no nothing, just go ahead and try. And in order to make your builds, you just need one file, uh, which is called gitlabci.yaml. <laughs> um, and it's basically, it's kind of like a bash script, so every line gets executed, so you can print an echo, or you can build a Docker container, it's really up to you. Um, and in this gitlabci, you define stages and you define jobs. And we will see how that works. So this is our pipeline for our project. It's oh, you can actually see it. I'm surprised, but we'll break it down. Okay, it's pretty long. Um, and this is the pipeline when we push a tag. So these things they wouldn't appear for just a normal dev push or a feature branch. So like we wouldn't build a release for a, for a feature branch. That doesn't make any sense. So let's break it down quickly. So. These lanes, basically, they are the stages, and these are the jobs. And every stage has to pass in order to move to the next stage. So the first stage here in this pipeline for Flutter, for building Android apps, for so Flutter building Android apps, is the environment stage, uh, where we basically build a Docker container in which we will build our app. So we need to download the Android SDK, we need to download the Flutter SDK, maybe some more stuff, whatever we do. But this stage is for ensuring that we have all the variables we use. And it usually runs only once unless you update your Docker file because really the environment doesn't change. So the next stage, the next stage, we're going to use these containers and run some static code like Flutter Analyze, Flutter Format, just to check should we even go further or maybe you should format your code first and then come back. Um, once this stage passes, we go to the test stage, we run all your tests, and as I said, this is all the same code. And only then we can move on to the build stage, and it's all done automatically here. So we build our debug, which is not that necessary here, just do it, but you don't have to. And we build our release. And once that is done, we uh, publish the AAB or the APK, whatever you want, to the Play Store. Um, here with the help of Fastlane, but you don't really need Fastlane in order to just publish an APK. We just use it for some convenience reasons. Yeah, and then as you can see, I can just promote it to alpha, to beta, to production. I don't need to log in anywhere. It's all over the CI. I'm sure that what I'm just promoting to production, tests have been run on. It's not just some APK which I find in the Play Store, 
and I don't really know which version is it, which tag is it, uh, all these things. So I can really be sure what I'm doing here. So this template is available in GitLab. You'll see the link in a second. Um, what's the problem right now for me personally is there is no configuration for iOS because I don't have a Mac and I don't have a developer account. So if anyone here is available and wants to do a pull request, that'd be great. Um, but unfortunately, because of Apple, things are not that easy. Um, but you can attach a GitLab runner. So a GitLab runner is like a, yeah, well, it's a runner where you run jobs. That's what it does. Um, but you can install it on a Mac and then attach it to your repository or to your project. And things which you tag with iOS um, get run on a runner which is tagged with iOS. So you can make sure this runs on an iOS runner, this runs on a Docker runner, whatever you need. All right. So that's pretty much all there is. Uh, this is the template. It's really simple. Just go ahead and look at it. It should be really self-explanatory. Explanatory. Um, yeah, and if you have any questions, you can just contact me directly. Ask me afterwards, ask me now, and pull requests, please. That's it.